Welcome at another video on the creation of a DCC model railway. In the previous video we had a look at how to create routes and use routes with the program called iTrain. In this video we're going to do the same but now with a program called JMRI. The program is already started. Uh, and my ECOS is connected to it. If you would like to see how that was done, please refer to video number 9. The screens are all quite small. Uh, I can uh, uh, enlarge this and zoom in. And let us first have a look at how to make a drawing uh, of your layout. Uh, at the top of this uh, a layout panel. Oh, well, how, how did I get to the layout panel? Over here you have the. This is the small main window. Over here there is a panels menu, and in that uh, I have created a new panel with the layout editor. There are two other editors, but I don't bother with them. But they because they are a bit archaic to work with. The layout editor is the best of the three. Um, okay, that uh, creates a new panel, an empty one, and once you have that, uh, then uh, you can make a drawing. It is not uh, really uh, as uh, nice as the iTrain uh, user interface. It is a little bit more old-fashioned, but it, it does the job. Uh, in the top you have a toolbar with all the types of icons you can draw on the board and for instance if I would like to draw a turnout then I have to go over here and click right hand turnout well let me zoom in because it's probably invisible over here I can click right hand turnout uh, I don't know if my cursor is now with the zooming in the right position um, and also over here I can add a name out of a table of all the the available turnouts. We will have a look at that in a minute. Let's not give a name right now, but let's just uh, place this uh, uh, turnout over here. For some reason the designers decided you have to shift click to place something, so I shift click right now and there is our right hand turnout. You can move these uh, anchor points by right clicking your mouse and then move them and as you can see you can uh, play a little bit with that and okay this is nice um, how how come that this snaps to grid well that's simply a menu choice that you can make here in the layout editor options menu I have uh, checked uh, snap to grid with adding and with moving alright let's lay some track and for that I need first to place some anchor points so let me select anchor point over here then again I have to shift click otherwise nothing happens and then I have two anchor points and now I can lay track a track segment over here and again I have to do shift click to lay this track uh, well it, it I don't know why this shift clicking is involved but it is <laughs> Um, okay, so it is not really difficult to make a drawing, but it is also not really uh, straightforward and fast working. It takes a little bit of time. But okay, let's let's select this and delete this because I don't need it. I already made a drawing of the the layout, and what I want to do is switch routes. Well, of course, uh, I need to connect the junctions that I have with the real junctions that I have on my layout. For that I can uh, use two methods. I can first make a drawing and then uh, right-click it, go to the Edit menu and add the name of the junction. Over here, uh, if I zoom in, maybe it is possible to... Oh, now I lost that little window. Uh, oh boy, this is not working. Let's get out of here. Uh, I opened this edit window and maybe you can see it is called ECOS Turnout 1. How did that Turnout 1 uh, end up over there? Uh, uh, first of all you can, you can do it, uh, the, the selection of the turnouts afterwards or you can already add, if you know the name already, you can add it over here before you place the turnout. That is maybe more convenient. Anyhow, you need a list of all the turnouts that you have. 
Well, that list uh, is uh, that's quite easy with uh, JMRI. If you have connected your command station, and I have connected my ECOS, uh, again, see video 9 on how to do that, then go to the tools and the tables and then turnouts, and then you automatically have the complete list of all your turnouts. With me, they have the prefix ECOS, as you can see over here, they all are named equals with then a T for turnout and then their number. How did that prefix end up there? Well, that also is something uh, easy. Uh, you have to do that in your setup. And if you go to edit preferences, then you have your connection screen. Over here I have my connection screen. I did connect the ECOS and I gave it its address. And over here you have this prefix uh, and I typed in ECOS. And that is how that prefix ends up there. Uh, why is that useful? Well, if you have more than one command station, you can uh, distinguish them. Alright, so I have a table of all the turnouts and it was loaded automatically, which means that I can select the junction. If I right click and go to edit, I can type in the name of the junction that I want to connect. So I did that for all my 23 junctions. Now we're all set to go to create a route. Well, that is also not as straightforward as it was with iTrain. You can easily create a route, but there is no icon to switch the route. So what I did first is place the icons that you see over here uh, that can switch the route. Uh, and I used a sensor for that. Yeah, that may sound strange, sound strange, but it is a sensor. How do we place a sensor? Well, you can place a sensor by clicking the sensor icon. And then again, give it the name of the sensor that comes out of the table of all your available sensors. Well, we did not have any sensor table yet, but uh, that is easily done when I open up the tools table sensors. Then I get a list of all the available sensors. Uh, but uh, if, you, if you start with an empty list, all you need to do is add a sensor. Yeah? Add a sensor, give it an address. That is an internal sensor at this time. So I use ES as a prefix, and then uh, a number. And that is how you add your sensors. I only need them to have an icon on my layout. So, well, this is a little bit of a detour, but you need them. Otherwise, you can't draw your layout. Uh, at your sensor. So this is sensor 0408. Well, that is the route 0408. And that is going from here to here. Let's create that route. Uh, what do we need to do? Well, again, we need to go to our tools, tables, and now uh, routes. That is where all the routes are listed. I want to create a new route. So I click here at the bottom, the add route then I get a new window and probably it's very difficult or even impossible to read but I am now going to type R for route 0408 what do I need to do I need to select all the junctions that I want to switch in that route uh, well, I know uh, from uh, heart that uh, I know uh, without looking at the drawing that I need to switch junction 6 to, uh, I, I click it over here, junction six, 6, and I need to it to be thrown. And that's all the junctions I need for this uh, route. So I'm done. But if you need more junctions, well, you can select all of them and se set if they are thrown or not thrown. Let's zoom in again so that also it is visible on the video. What I did now is select uh, ECOS junction T6 and I set it to thrown as you can see over here. Well now I need to also select which icon does the switching. Well I made that uh, sensor so I am going to uh, uh, have a look in this list and yeah over here I have my sensor 0408 so that is the one that is switching the route 
And also, I want that same sensor to display the color is if it, it's yellow if it is active or gray if it is not active. So I have to select it over here again. This says enter the sensor that that activates when the route is correct. So that is just for visuals. Don't ask me why I need to do that twice, but that is something JMRI decided. You can choose another light or LED or lamp or whatever to, to display that your route is switched. Well, I want to use the same icon for that. So I have now selected an icon to switch it and to display the current state. And I can say add route now uh, or update route. I don't know. Did I already uh, have it? I don't know. Yes, it is. Oh, uh, it is now over here somewhere. Oh, 408. Yes, there it is. So I now do have this route. Let's have a look if it works. Uh, this panel looks ugly because I am in edit mode. So I'm going to leave edit mode. Well, as you can see, my light is yellow, which means my route is correctly switched. Yes, that is correct. If I switch uh, it off and I switch this uh, junction by hand, uh, then I can now switch my route over here. Yes, it see you see it works. And also if I switch it off, my light goes off. Uh, I already created a route over here, uh, the route from here to here that needs to switch all these junctions. And there also is a two second delay that you can also program in that same create route window. And this is the way how I can now switch all my routes. Let's do this one. One. Oh, the the rest is already set. Well, let's do this one. One, two. Yeah. So it works. Uh, was it easy to do? Well, no. It was a quite a, a trouble to find figure it all out how it needed to be done. But now that I know it, it is possible to do it. So in the next video, we are going to give it a try on the layout and see some trains running. Thank you for watching and maybe see you back in that next video. Bye bye.